here we go. Four, three, two, now a knee lift. out a little bit wider, then we're going to start that lunge side to side, pushing the weight back, in four, take your time, three, big stretch, last two, really pushing back. Last one, and then hold center, roll up, relax the shoulders, march. In four, three, two, kick low. If you don't want to kick, stay with that low heel tap. Nice. In four, three, two, now just the right leg. <laughs> In four, three, two, march on the left, heel front. Four, three, two, a low kick. Four, three, two, just the left leg. Four, three, two, march right. Out wide, leg curl, pull into the back. Four, three, two, march wide, march in. Jump rope. 
or you can just march in place. You can cross your arms. And four, three, two, march right. Cap out right only. Press up. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now the left side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march right, squat out to the right, two more, the other side. I like the way you talk. I like the things you wear. Two more. And march. I know you won't be out wide. Every time I turn around, you did behind. With or without that hop. Nice. I wanna blow your mind. Just come with me, I swear. I'm gonna take you somewhere warm. You know I don't like Cause when the and four, three, two, and march. Knee up right and left. Out wide. In front and out wide. Now two to the front. Two wide. Front. Wide. Front. One more set. March. Out wide. Now we're going to hold the legs, knees are soft, press, press, abs are tight, knees bent, really press front, and breathe. Yes, eight, lower. Six, five, four, three, two, and hold the legs. You're just holding in that squat position. Legs out nice and wide. Lower the heels or the weight back in the heels. Your body is lifted. And four. Three, two, and come up. March left. Four, three, two, tap out left and right. You can stay grounded and add that little hop. Good, keep going. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and march. 
four, three, two, left heel front only. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march here, four, three, two, heel front, you can change the arms reaching front for that curl, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, lift up, left, lift, lift. Good. Four, three, two, right leg. Nice. March. Out wide. Step together. This set may be a little bit lower. Squeezing up a little bit higher. Or all the way up and pull down. Nice. Four. Three. Two. Maybe a little quicker. Push side to side. Push, 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 push. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And march. Good work. So let's grab our weights. Lighter weights for this. Anytime it's not comfortable, you can always leave the weights out. We're gonna reach across first and then overhead. So the legs are gonna be out wide. Weights are in. We're not gonna go too fast. We might even go a little slower than the music. So four, three, two, go. So it's right, left, right arm, left arm. Blow your breath out as you reach. Abs are tight. Nice long reach. Now we're going to reach up overhead. You can add a little leg down and up. Yes. Four, three, two. Then we're gonna hold the weight in front. Swing down, lift up overhead. Down, lift. Down, lift. Down, lift. Breath in on the way down. Go out as you reach up. Let the weight pass. Abs are in. Let's try four more. Release. March. 
All right. Next move. Let's take the legs out wide. Arms are going to be out. We're going to rotate in and open. Rotate to the other side and open. So it's in, open, in, open. Now, if you have lighter weights, you might be able to go a little bit quicker side to side. Or if you have water bottles or no weights, you can maybe go a little bit quicker. Careful of your knee. You want to really add that nice rotation. So cardio, upper body, core is engaged. You got it, we're almost there. Four, three, two, last one. And release. Relax the shoulders. Now, we're gonna balance on that right leg. We're gonna take this um, left leg back. It's like this. We're gonna lift and then reach. So, as you lift that knee, opposite arm comes up. When you tap back, that arm goes forward. So same arm and leg. All right, in three, two, one. Go. So it's lift and extend. Lift and extend. So a little balance. You can keep that standing knee soft. Breathe through it. Nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Little step together. We're going to go to the other side. Same thing. All right. Balance on the left. Shoulders relax. And begin. Knee and extend. We can leave the Christmas lights up till January. Keep breathing. This is our place. Standing knee soft. the arms. We're down to the last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Nice. A little stretch it out. Then we're going to take the arms up overhead. So a little softness in those elbows, so they don't have to be straight up. You can bring the arms slightly out. We're just going to lift right leg and left leg. It can be a lower lift, reaching from the hip, or a little lower, or all the way up. And you breathe in four. Three, two, now opposite, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, or opposite, um, leg can lift, bringing the arm towards the knee, or here, keeping the knee and the elbow close together. And then you can always add a hop in between keep going if you have maybe two pound weights or a water bottle you can probably go a little quicker i have threes it gets heavy yes 
So go at your own pace. In four, three, two, and rest. Take out the arms, stretch it out for a second. Next move, um, let's see, we're gonna reach the arms out wide. So we're gonna squat down, arms out, step in, all on the right side. In four, three, two, and begin. Step out and in, step out and in. So adding the weight intensifies the move. So it keeps you nice and warm. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the left side. Out and in, out and in. Four, three, two, last one, and rest. Pick out the arms. All right, next move, we're gonna go all to one side, I think. Let's see, we're gonna go, um, oh, let's do this one first. We're gonna keep the legs out about hip distance, maybe a little wider. It's gonna be twist, twist, knee, twist, twist, knee. Twist, twist, knee, twist, twist, knee. So because you might have weights, Control it as you go side to side, so it's low and then up. And then when you get the feel of the move, you wanna go a little quicker, you can increase the intensity. You can keep the arms in close or slightly apart, depending on how you feel. Cardio and core, let's do it. Four, three, two, and rest. Ah, nice work. All right. Next move. Um, do, we don't need a weight for this one, unless you want to wait. But we're going to do all the same side. So we're going to lift that right knee. Hands are behind the head. So like we do the bicycle on the floor. We're just gonna bring right elbow to knee, or left elbow to your right knee. In four, three, two, turn, turn. And then if you feel good, you can pick it up, go a little bit quicker, blow your breath out. As you bring the knee in, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, right over to the other side. So you can start slow, and then whenever you're ready, you can maybe pick it up a little bit and go a little quicker. Make sure you're rotating through the core for Three, two, and release. All right. Next move, side lunge. So we're gonna go to the side and then lift that leg. So it's all to the right and then you lift. If you wanna leave the side lunge out, you can stay here. Just lift that leg to the side, lift that leg to the side. You can use something to hold on to if you need to. In four, three, two, and begin. Side lunge and lift. Side lunge and lift. Breath in, blow out when you lift. Nice. Push that weight back. Last one. And rest. 
they should have felt it back in your booty, through your side. Remember the core is all this middle part. And four, three, the left side. So low and lift, down and lift. You decide how high you want to lift that leg. Last one, and rest. Ah, oh, nice. All right, next move. Uh, all right, here you have a choice. You can do a jump rope. You can do uh, jumping jacks, high knees, or just regular knee lifts. And we're gonna do maybe, let's do, let's do 30 seconds to start. In three, two, and begin. So if you need to catch your breath, you stay here. If you're ready to pick it up, really bring those knees up. If you even need to keep it a little lower, that's fine as long as you keep moving. 30 seconds goes fast. So work through the whole time. Whole time, go, go, go. Ah. All right, we're down to three. Two, and rest. Nice. All right. Good for pulling the core in nice and tight. And then we're going to do, uh, let's see, let's do the wood chop. So again, there's a choice. You can reach low, come up and turn. So it would be down low, rotate up. If you want to add a light weight, you can. The other option can just be a step out, so it's a wide squat, and then reach up and turn. Just make sure you turn off toes to come up. Maybe I'll try a light weight. You can always try it and then leave it out if you need. All right, are we ready? Side lunge and chop. Down and lift. Down and lift. So you wanna look up overhead. Nice long reach. Blow your breath out as you lift. Last one. And rest. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. Side lunge, reach up, and three, two, one, and go. Side lunge, chop. Really swing it up overhead. Nice. Last two. And rest. So you should have felt that right through your little love handles on your side. All right, next move. Again, you have a choice. You can either jump out, come in. When you jump in, try to come up on toes. The other option, you can step out, reach up in the middle, so you're up on toes when you come in the center. You can step out side to side or do that jump out. All right, this is gonna be about 30 seconds ish as well. All right, in three, two, and begin. Out, up, out, up, or out, lift, out, lift. Really coming up on toes when you come in the center. So you're working that calf and the core has to keep you engaged so you don't fall over.
Breathe. Three, two, one, and rest. So you should have gotten your heart rate up. All right. Now, let's move to, uh, let's do, let's go to, um, I'm just trying to see how much time we have. So I like to get that nice long stretch in on Friday nights. Get rid of any of that stress we have. Oh, all right, so let's do another 30 seconds of high knees. Then we're gonna come to the floor and do some core moves. The core moves are gonna be um, holding certain positions. I'll tell you more after. In three, two, one, high knees, high knees. Or you could do quick jumping jacks. If you wanna stay with that, you could take feet out and in. Or those high knees, driving it up, driving it up. You can move around the room if you need to. You could go forward and back. You wanna breathe. All right, let's get those knees up a little higher. A little higher. Yes, or faster jumping jack. You got it, you got it. Yes, yes. In three, two, and rest. Nice work. Little step together. Grab a sip of water before you come down to the mat. So I'll try to show options down here as well. So make sure you've recovered, even if you're just walking it out as you get water before you come down. You wanna bring your heart rate down a little before you just come down to the mat. So it's okay to walk it out, breathe. Ooh, nice. All right. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna come to the mat. We're just gonna do what's called a hollow hold. So you guys have done something similar before, but you could start here with your shoulders lifted and the legs here or lower if you can. And my back tends to arch, so I, t I keep my legs up a little bit higher. You can go lower, feel free. It's only 20 seconds. So just so you know, don't hold your breath for the 20 seconds. Make sure you breathe through it, but you're holding the position. So good form for 20 seconds. If you need to take a break and start over, that's fine. Some moves are a little harder than others, or it might be harder for you or me. Everybody's a little different. All right, so we're gonna do 20 seconds. So make sure you're ready on your mat. Let's lift the shoulders up off the mat and then extend the legs and hold and begin. So legs can be up, they can go a little bit lower. So if you feel that back start to arch, bring the legs back up a little bit higher. As you get stronger, you'll be able to lower those legs, pull the abs in tight. Goes quick, it's only 20 seconds. So we're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. You get about a 10 second rest. We're gonna go to knees bent and lift up and hold. Three, two, so knees are bent, lift up, upper body is lifted and hold. So the arms are facing forward. Lifting up towards those knees, really lift up, lift, lift, lift. Shoulders up off that mat, as high as you can get. Really squeeze up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, and rest. So holding the position is a little different than what we normally do. Legs up on this one, reaching up. Three, two, go. So you're just reaching up towards your toes, staying lifted. Breathe. So the idea is to really reach up like you're trying to grab your shoelace or your toes. So really make sure you're lifted as tall as you can. You can try to reach up a little higher. Three, two, and rest. All right, next move. Let's do a V-sit if you can. Three, two, legs can be up. You're balancing on your sit bones and you hold. If you need to bend the knees a little, that's fine. But you're balancing on your sit bones chest is lifted so if you need support you can hold on behind the knees if this is new for you and breathe through three two and rest next one is boat pose so legs are a little bit lower so you're lifted legs are long in three two and hold 
It could be here too. Knees bent, chest lifted. The core is engaged. I know, I'm sweating. I'm nice and warm now. <laughs> Who needs heat? Oh. All right, in four, three, two, and rest. So you can stretch it out for a second. Next one is gonna be on our four arms, four arms, legs long. So I'll give you a chance to turn over onto your stomach to do that a plank position. So in plank, we're just gonna hold the legs. Oh, where am I? Oh, sorry, I skipped one or two. We're gonna lean back on our forearms. So if you haven't turned over yet, you can come back here and we're gonna keep the legs long out from us. So if you can go lower, again, you can. I, I need to stay up here, but you're balancing on your forearms. The one after that is gonna be holding our legs to the side like that windshield wiper. That will be the next one. One side for 20 seconds, then the other side for 20 seconds, and then we'll be on our back. So in three, two, one, forearms, legs long and hold. So you wanna kinda of lean back on your forearms as the legs are long. If you can lower a little bit more, Try to hold that position and breathe through it. If you need to bring the legs up for a break, that's fine. In three, two, one, and rest. Now we go onto our back. Legs, you can take hands by your side or off to the side. And lower the legs down to your side, as low as it feels comfortable for you. And you just hold there. The other option can be knees to the side and hold. Keep going, keep going, hold, hold, hold the position, not your breath. In three, two, one, come back to center and rest for a second. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So either knees bent and off to the side or legs long in three, two, and begin. So legs can be long, upper body is on the mat as you're just lowering the legs to the side. Remember to breathe through it. Don't hold your breath. It goes quick. <laughs> it does, it does. Three, two, and rest. Now you can hug the knees in for a second before you flip up and over. Because now we're gonna come over to um, a forearm plank. Legs are gonna be long. And we're just gonna hold for that 20 seconds. So this one's similar to what we've done before. All right, in three, two, four, and plank and hold. Nice long line, head to toe. So make sure elbows are underneath shoulders. Push back on those toes. Breathe through it. And rest. So you can stretch it out for a second, stretch out the legs if you need to. We're gonna go to a side plank here. We're gonna be over on our right side. And you can either stagger the feet, you could just lift, keeping one knee on the floor, or both feet, or here. In three, two, and begin. So you just hold the position, that's it. You're keeping the hips lifted up off the mat. The arm is long if you can. If you need a little support, you can bring that hand down in front of you and you breathe through it. We've done this way longer, right? Three, two, and rest. We're gonna flip over to the other side. Get right in position in three, two, and begin. So you hold that position, not your breath, right? Breathe through it, hips up. Core is engaged, three, two, one, and rest. All right, next move, we're gonna come to a, a hands and toes push up. So just hands and toes, or a plank position, like a, but you're getting ready for a push up. In three, two, one, and begin. So you're just in that nice long line, head to toe. Make sure the 
abs are pulled in. If your shoulders bother you or your wrist, you can go back to that forearm plank. In three, two, one, and rest. Next move looks like this. You can either be on the knees in that push-up position, and you're just gonna come down towards the mat and just hold. You could also do it on toes. Not quite strong enough for that, so I gotta go to my knees. But you're holding at the lowest point of your push-up. All right, in three, two, one, and begin. So you're holding nice and low, chest towards the floor. Try to hold that position nice and still. Long line, nice long back. Relax the shoulders. Oh, my arms are shaking. In three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> if you need to fall down, fine. Stretch it out for a second. It's a lot of work for the upper body to hold that position, but your core has to help you out. So nice job. All right, next one is a um, long plank. So we're gonna walk the arms slightly forward. So, it, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of this regular plank position, the arms are gonna be out in front of you and you're holding out there. If it's not comfortable, stay with that first move that we just did. Three, two, and begin. So it's nice and long, arms are forward. So they're out in front of you and you're breathing. So it's putting a little more pressure on your low back and your core. So you have to keep those abs pulled in. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Three, two, and rest. All right, next move, we're gonna be on forearms, single leg plank. Or you can hold for the regular plank. In three, two, and begin. So one leg is lifted. You can also place the toes on that opposite heel or keep that leg lifted. Still think about that nice long line as to toe as you keep that one leg lifted, pushing up onto those toes. In three, two, one, and rest. So you can stretch for a second before we go to the other side. Same thing, the other leg lifts and begin. Nice long line. Try not to keep your butt up, drop your hips, but lift that leg. Think about lifting the heel towards the ceiling and breathe. Three, two, and rest. Shake the legs out for a second. Next one, instead of a regular mountain climber, we're just gonna hold that one knee in. So, looks like this. You're in that hands and toe position. You're just holding that knee in for the 20 seconds. And then we'll do the other side, and then I think we have two more moves, and then we'll stretch. All right, in three, two, mountain climber, hold. So that knee is in. So instead of actually moving, you're just squeezing that knee in, pulling it in towards your hands, towards your chest. So you're holding that position. Breathe. In three, two, one, and rest. And shake out the wrist for a second before we go to the other side. Shake out the shoulders. Get in position. Knee in and hold. And make sure hands are right underneath shoulders. Really squeeze that knee in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Maybe a little closer. Ten. Three. Two. One. And rest. <sighs> nice. Next move is like a push-up, or I mean a plank, but we're gonna keep the knees bent and just lift up. Three, two, and hold. So the knees are up, so it's like that bear crawl position. So the knees are close to the floor, but they're lifted, and you're just holding this position. And breathe. Three, two, and rest. All right, let's do um, let's come to the all the way down to your mat for the Superman and hold. All right, so you know what that is. You can either keep arms by your side, legs can be lifted, just legs, just upper body, depending on how you feel, or both. 20 seconds hold, that's it. In three, two, one, and begin. Keep lifted. Try to really squeeze the hips, glutes. Stay lifted, you might wanna look forward. Keep the legs and arms up if you can. It's only 20 seconds, it's only 20 seconds. We're already down to the last three, two, 
one and rest all right stay here you can um, rock your feet back and forth rest your chin on your hands or your towel or your mat take some time to breathe I'll change the music while you relax and catch your breath nice work good because that music started to get funky sometimes I think it's the internet service and it just does its own thing I guess <laughs> So we'll find some nice quiet stretch music. Slow your breath down. And then from here, you're gonna lift one heel in towards you. So you're just gonna lift that heel in. And then if it's comfortable, you can reach around, pulling that heel in a little closer as you press that hip into the floor to stretch that quad muscle out a little. Nice deep breath. So if you did any of the squats, side lunges, this should feel really good to lengthen it out. And then we're gonna slowly release. Just rock the feet back and forth for a second. And then we'll switch over to the other side. Bring one heel, that opposite heel in. And then if it's comfortable, reach around, pull it in, press that hip into the floor. Nice deep breath. Relax the shoulders. Breathe into wherever you feel that tension and let it go. And then we'll slowly release. From here, we're gonna press, take the hands by your shoulders and just press up, lengthening out through your core a little bit, through the abs. We did a lot of standing ab work as well as that um, stationary ab work. And then release. Then we're gonna come up to hands and knees. So hands right underneath shoulders, knees right underneath hips. Tuck in and hold and stretch through that back. So it might feel good in your low back, especially from that Superman right up into the upper back. And then release and let it go. And then again, we're going to tuck in and hold, pull it all in nice and tight. And then release and let it go. Bring the knees out wider than the hips, and then you can sit back on your heels and then walk the hands forward. So now it should feel good to relax into that back and stretch through front of chest and shoulder, especially from using any weights if you did or the water bottles earlier on. And then we're going to take our time and lift. We're going to come over to sitting. So now if you want to take your shoes off, it's a nice time to stretch without your shoes on. Let your feet relax. So from here, we're going to make sure that we're pushing our seat back. Lift up nice and tall. Hinge from your hip. 
reaching the arms forward towards the toes reach reach as far as you can reach over and then scoop it in so you're going to pull in and then bring the arms up again hinge forward nice long reach so really think of pushing your seat back as you're reaching the arms forward roll it in again and up arms lift hinge from the hip again reach forward see if you can go a little bit further and now you can hold so you can hold on to your feet your ankles your calves depending on how far you can reach yourself over you can keep the knees bent to start and then eventually lengthen if you need to nice deep breath Sometimes tight hamstrings also makes your low back hurt. So it's, it's nice to take some time to really lengthen out. And then we're gonna take our time, slowly roll up, and then relax the shoulders. We're gonna bring the legs out wide, as wide as it feels comfortable for you, knees face the ceiling. You can take hands behind the back and just press open if you feel the inner thigh stretch there, or you can walk the hands forward, bringing yourself over, stretching out inner thighs. Nice deep breaths. It also feels good to take a little longer in each stretch. Some classes we only get a short amount of stretch and we only get maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. So this is nice to really lengthen out. And then we're gonna take our time, slowly roll up, relax the shoulders. We're gonna bring the legs in about hip distance. Take a breath in. And then we're gonna hold on and pull back. Stretch through upper back and shoulders. So you're really opening up a little bit more in upper back here. And then slowly lift up. Extend your left leg long, cross the right leg over, hug it in with that left arm, and then turn and look over your shoulder. So now you're opening up through your hips and glutes on that right side, yes? Nice deep breath. Make sure you stay lifted, thumb to tailbone. So that should feel good from those side lunges you might have done. Take your time, come back to center, uncross. Left leg comes over right, hug it in. Turn and look over your shoulder, staying tall and lifted. Nice deep breath. Try to release any tension you feel with each deep breath. And 
And then we're going to take our time, slowly release back to center. And then we're going to come to standing. So you can take your time and come up. From here, we're going to take the arms out to your side. Legs are out wide. We're just going to do a nice rotation through the core and back to center. Rotate to the other side and back to center. Arms are up and you turn, stretching out through the obliques. One more each side. Nice turn. And then release the arms. Oops. I guess I'm not plugged in. Hold on a second. <laughs> Take the arms down by your side and just do a little twist side to side, releasing through your hips and inner thighs. So you're just doing a little twist, turn. Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Take a nice deep breath up. Relax the shoulders, press open. Another nice deep breath up. Really reaching up, relax the shoulders and open and have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining me again. Oh.